Hello everyone, I'm that college rat, and today I'm doing a video um, about my Starlink collection. As since I don't have a capture card yet, I don't know when I'll actually ever get one. Uh, I can only show you my physical collection, and I so far have three ships, six pilots, and one, two, three, four, five, six weapons. I'll go over each of them. Of course. Uh, I did get the Switch version, so I do have the R-Wing. Lovely little ship. And since I have the R-Wing, you already know I have Star Fox. Or Fox McCloud, I should say. Uh, who is the leader of Star Fox. Uh, now, I'm just going to let this out here known. I really wasn't a big fan of Star Fox. I mean, I love the character. I love the ship's design. Go green around. This ship's fabulous. Just as a kid, I really wasn't into the space exploration crap I, that I am in now. Like, Elite Dangerous is amazing. No Man's Sky can be. It all depends. But here's my first ship, the R-Wing. And next, this is actually the ship that was on my wish list first, which is Judge's ship, the Neptune. I, I don't know why, I just love it. It's like a big, beefy... It reminds me a lot about a pelican. And then next... My last ship I own hold on, is the GameStop exclusive Cerberus. Which, the thing about the exclusive ships, uh, there are two. There's a Target and GameStop. Is they're both repaints of other ships. This is a repaint of, of hold on. I actually don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, this is a repaint of Lance. Well, the main body is. The wings actually come from Cerberus. <laughs> or sorry, not service, uh, Neptune, uh, which I find cool, uh, you know, you know, I, I don't mind repaints. Uh, the one thing that was in my mind is if I put this in the game, will it show up as Lance or Cerberus? It actually has its own tag, which is cool. So these are my three ships. But the one thing I love, say, about um, Starlink is the fact that they're modular. So... If I wanted to, I could do something like I hate. Sorry, telemarketers suck, don't they? You can do something like this, and somehow this flies. Or if you want, you could literally fly a ship without wings in the game. You, you can just attach weapons and it somehow flies. But, so that's my ships. I plan to buy more. My next purchase will probably be Scrabble, which is the Target exclusive. It's actually a repaint of the Pulse, which is awesome looking. It's red. It's the one they very first showed off from 2017 E3 was the Pulse. Alright, <clears throat> so now we're going over the weapons. Of course, since I bought a starter pack, oh uh, boy, I actually don't know the names of the weapons. I just know what they are by type. Okay, Flamethrower and uh, Frost Barrage. A missile launcher, homey missile launcher and a uh, Flamethrower. I love these weapons. Actually, Flamethrower is one of my most used weapons. Alongside, uh, hold on, Levitator. These are my two, this is my favorite weapon combination in the game. This pretty much status, or sorry, this one, uh, status and paralyzes them, and this one goes in for the kill. All right, so, <clears throat> since I also, here's my first weapon pack I bought, which has the Shredder Mark II, and this is the Crusher. Uh, this is a gravity-based weapon, and this is kinetic. I love that each weapon has a little paint that says what they are. Uh, gravity, kinetic, fire, paralyzed, ice. Uh, now, since I bought service, I actually got the Shockwave weapon. Which, when I buy the Shockwave weapon pack, I'm actually curious to see if I can have two of these attached to, um, at once. If not more likely, I will just give my other shockwave to a friend. 
once. Yeah, I'll probably just give it away. All right. Since we brought Cerberus, Cerberus actually has a pilot because each of the packs come with one. And this is the second command of the Equinox, Razor LeMay. She's very fun. I love her music-based uh, ultimate skill, pilot skill. It's pretty fun. Not my favorite. No. And next we have Mason, who is basically the one that in game is the creator of the Starlink system, aka he's a genius. All right, since we're talking, uh, here's the boy Fox McCloud himself. I'd say one thing that one eye is really weird. It's, I can't zoom in. I have a crappy webcam, but I love playing as him. He's actually my highest level. Go figure. Um, another really fun one to play as is Judge, with his time stop ability. Once I use that, I can literally just hammer my specials, or AK my weapons, because they somehow are unlimited charge during that. All right, so let's go for the two that don't have. All right, so this one, sorry, if I'm looking over, it's because my Switch, I don't remember the names of these characters. All right, so this is Carl Zeon. He has an interesting ability that I actually really like. Um, what ha Basically what happens is he has this, like, I think the best way to describe it um, is he creates a shield that every time I get attacked, it gets bigger and bigger, bigger until I can release that and charge, attack the enemy. And I really love his design of the character. It's really nice. But now, out of all the ones I have, my favorite is actually Eli Arborwood. He is a gunslinger. Yeah, he's not my highest level in the game. He's like level 10, I believe. But he is my favorite design out of all of them. And I love his ability probably near... It's one of my top favorites. Uh, he pretty much can say... Think Deadeye from Red Dead Redemption. He, I slow down time. I mark so many enemies and then blast them. He can do up to six. And I think that's very fun. And I really love using him. And I love pairing him with the Cerberus. Because the uh, cool thing about this game is each pilot has their own level system. But how they level up is every time you use a ship or a weapon, and once you fill it up its familiarity, you get one XP point. And um, as currently I have four ships, if you count the digital version of the Zenith, which I really want a physical, I'm so pissed about that. That means each ship has five XP points, so that's five. Sh that's four. Uh, that's twenty for the ships, and then there's three for each weapon I have. So I have a total of seven weapons because of the Shredder digital version. So in theory, every time I buy a weapon pack or a ship pack, these characters can go higher and higher. So the level, the highest level, depends on currently what you own and as I own a small amount it's not as much as if I owned all five ships and all the weapon packs one of these pilots could just theoretically I actually would have to count how, how high level they could get well anyway that's my Starlink collection have a good day